Today we get another reminder of why I do not recommend that people carry firearms off body. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Philadelphia. Firearms Legal Protection is who I trust to help me after a use of force incident. If you're a Firearms Legal Protection member, you can attend our monthly Active Self Protection training seminars for free. Check out all they offer to their members at the link below. Another customer, not this guy, but a different one, has uh, left a bag at the counter of this drugstore. And you can see it right there, and it has two firearms in it. So he had two carry firearms in that little bag, but then he forgot it there at the register. And so this guy kind of sees it, starts looking around to see what's going on with it, kind of fondles it a little bit, looks around, nobody is seeing what's going on with that. So he is gonna decide to take it home. Now, eventually the owner of those firearms is gonna recognize his mistake, comes back to the store, they're not there, they find this on the surveillance footage and the police are using it to try to look for this guy. So if you have any idea who this is, please contact the PD, link is in the description but I can guarantee you there are a couple of lessons out of this one that we have to think about for us as well. Oof, this is not okay. I wanna hear from you. Where is your normal carry position? I am an appendix carrier, carry it up front every day, every time I leave the house. How about you? If you have a firearm with you, it must stay on you all the time. This is why I'm not a big fan of off-body carry. Now listen, I recognize some people have to, that sometimes it's the only way that you can carry a firearm. I think that in this day and age, that's not nearly as true as it was even a few years ago. But if that's the case, then those, that gun has to be like an infant. That You cannot put that bag down. You can't leave it anywhere. You can't put it here on the countertop. You can't put it in the shopping cart. You have to have it on your person. And so that means something that's strapped to your body at all times. Because otherwise, you leave your firearms, and as the joke goes in the military, gear adrift is a gift. Somebody else is going to pick it up and steal your crap. Now, of course, it's immoral for him to do that, right? And wrong on every level and, and reprehensible. I don't even care if there were firearms in it or whatever. A good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person would tell the clerk, hey, somebody looks like they left a bag here and put it in the lost and found so that they can get it when they get it back. And I'd never know it had a firearm in it because I wouldn't be you know, messing around with somebody else's stuff. But you know what? The world that we live in is not always that way anymore. And that means that you have to be the good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person and never let that firearm bag out of your sight in any capacity. And, and listen, if you carry off body or if you know anybody that carries in a purse or a bag or any kind of off body thing, a backpack or anything like that, please show them this video that they have to, have to, have to have that bag on their body at all times. I don't care what else is going on because your attention will flag. You will end up you're leaving it in a spot that you don't remember it. And when that happens, you put yourself at risk and your community at risk because the ways that criminals get firearms, number one way is out of unlocked cars. And so of course we never leave firearms in vehicles, specifically we never leave them in unlocked vehicles. But number two way is stuff like this. They just come across them left in, in spots. They steal them out of people's homes and those kinds of things. And, and for us as private citizens, as good, sane, sober, moral, prudent people, we have to do the right thing and keep firearms out of the wrong hands so that we have you know, protected our Second Amendment rights and our families and covered our ass. 